Would you believe that this is the fourth version of the famous flying blue Ford Anglia from the Harry Potter films that Lego has put out? The last version coming in the full Privet Drive set which I've actually reviewed, but how does this version compare? And is it worth the $12.99 price tag that Lego has given it? This set being set number 76424 weighs in at 165 pieces and comes with two minifigures and two animals which we'll take a look at later on in this video. It features only the flying car and no other builds unlike its predecessors which did come with some sort of build. The lack of a build in this set does mean the set lends itself well to some imaginative play allowing you to come up with your own scenarios if you so wish to. But most of us will likely want to recreate the famous scene from Harry Potter and the Champion of Secrets where Harry and Ron escaped Hogwarts in the car because they're unable to get there by train. The price for this set is set at $12.99 as said before and when it came out it was very hard to get a hold of, hence this review only coming out now. So it seems people like the price and I have no complaints either. There's no doubt that in a sale this set would easily hit the $9.99 price tag but that remains to be seen. Looking at the box we see the Ford Anglia flying in front of the famous Hogwarts Express train with Ron in the driver's seat of the car and Harry Potter holding on for dear life while they're trying to fly out the way of the oncoming train. In the lower left corner we see the minifigures that are included in this set with a picture of Harry, Hermione and Ron in the opposite corner. Turn the set around, on the back we see the car again but on the ground this time with Harry in the car and Ron with Harry's owl at the rear of the car. Highlighted on this side is also the features of this set including a removable roof allowing you to put the characters in their seats and a trunk that can be open to store one, suitcases or even little animals like Ron Scabbers. Opening up the box, inside we find two paper bags of Lego, a sticker sheet with only three stickers on thankfully and finally the instructions to complete the build. Now let's take a look at the finished build. It does look quite good in my opinion. It's a lighter blue compared to the last one I built in the Privet Drive set and I feel this colour does represent it a bit better. It is a bit of a squeeze but you can fit both minifigures included in this set in the car. The fact that the roof comes off and the doors open does make this easier but it is still quite fiddly to get them in. Compared to the car features in the Privet Drive set, I feel like this one does look a bit better except for the roof. The roof just looks very flat whereas the real car has a curved roof towards the back. The sides do look a little bit messy with the parts usage but on the last one there was a sticker to represent this part of the car so in my opinion that is an improvement. Looking at the back of the car there's not many changes if any at all but it didn't need changing anywhere as it looks good already and the trunk is very easy to open and does store accessories inside. As stated earlier in this set you do get Harry Potter and Ron Weasley as well as two animals being Ron's pet Scabbers and Harry's owl Hedwig. The Harry Potter and Ron minifigures are new for this set. Compared to the Privet Drive ones there are some colour differences whether the top or the bottom but largely they are the same. So I'm not sure why this warranted new minifigures but Lego has made new minifigures with even less changes in the past. The minifigures themselves aren't fantastic with printing on the front and back of both minifigures with two facial expressions for both of them as well. Overall this is a nice little set for a decent price that I do recommend. The car is a nice and simple build that can be used in imaginative play as I stated earlier but can also be displayed quite nicely on its own with the minifigures beside it. Speaking of the minifigures, while new for this set, they aren't amazing but portray the characters well. The $12.99 price tag bearing in mind what you get which is a 165 piece build, two minifigures and two animals, it does seem fair in my opinion. As always if you do want to buy this set there is an Amazon link in the description of this video which will take you directly to the set and buying through that link helps me out with a little bit of commission while having no added cost to you. What do you guys think of this set? Do you agree with what I've said? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. I'll see you guys in the next video.